Hello, everyone. So let's start today's class. Today, we will learn mean free path. Mean free path. So what is this mean free path? So one general example before I will tell you. Suppose this is a drunk man. Drunk man A. This is another drunk man. That is drunk man B. Okay. And this is drunk man number three whose name is C. Now first he will go and he will collide on this fellow. Then after this one, two steps back, he will go and collide. Again, this fellow will go and collide on him. So this will go on continuing because they are fully drunk. Yes or not? They are fully drunk. So they will collide on one another. Now, see, distance traveled between two collisions. So this distance is there, no? That is what your mean free path. Or even we can say the distance traveled before colliding on another body that is your mean free path in general language right let's move ahead and now let's see about the gas molecule what is this mean free path it is denoted by lambda mean free path is denoted by lambda and it is defined as like this the average distance traveled by the molecule the average distance traveled by molecule between two successive collisions between two successive collisions this is what your mean free path is okay what is mean free path average distance traveled by gas molecule between two successive collisions Now suppose, let's take some collisions. So first it is going like this colliding on this then it is going like this so this path is lambda 1 then second this is lambda 2 then this one is lambda 3 then this one is lambda 4 and this one is lambda 5 okay So let lambda one comma lambda two comma lambda three so on up to lambda n be the distance traveled by a gas molecule. during n collision during n collisions 
then the mean free path of gas molecule then lambda is equal to lambda 1 plus lambda 2 plus lambda 3 plus so on plus up to lambda n divided by n okay this is what your mean free path is next point from statistical study from statistical study lambda is equal to 1 by root 2 pi n d square then what is this pi n and d square so lambda you know already lambda is what mean free path d is the diameter of molecule where where d is diameter of molecule diameter of gas molecule and n is the number of molecules per unit volume keep it in mind n is what here number of molecules per unit volume number of gas molecules per unit volume right so note down this next now what is the collision frequency what is the collision frequency collision frequency means how many collisions in unit second so collision frequency f is equal to prms by lambda this formula gives you how many collisions are getting occurred in one second okay for example number of waves in unit time number of vibrations per unit time here number of collisions in unit time this is what your frequency and that is called collision frequency next one now mean free path depends on what what factors so see here first point mean free path depends on nature of molecule mean free path depends on nature of molecule next with increase in number density number density means what n yes with increase in number density n mean free path that is lambda decreases
so if you will see this formula from this formula you can conclude that if this n is more lambda will be less or this n increases lambda decreases or lambda decreases n increases okay that is what i have written here the next point that is with increase in number density lambda decreases that is mean free path decreases okay so next now we know here small n is equal to n by phi which is equal to p by kb t now we have formula that is lambda is equal to lambda is equal to you can see here that side 1 by root 2 pi n d square 1 by root 2 pi n d square now here this small n is equal to what n by v which is equal to p by k b t so can i write like this 1 by this is root 2 this one is pi at the place of n what i am i will write now p by this k b t and into this d square so this k b t will go up and therefore i will get formula of this mean free path that is k b t divided by root 2 pi p d square root 2 pi p into d square okay this is also one formula of this mean free path So next one note point now we have this lambda value this one that is 1 by root 2 pi n d square now what i am doing multiplying and dividing by m m so what i will get next step m by this is note point star mark uh, root 2 pi into m n d square okay so this m n can i replace with row can i replace with this row because this n is nothing but what number of molecules per unit volume so n by v means this m by v so this n is just number of molecules so direct i can write lambda is equal to m by root 2 pi rho d square where rho is what density where rho is what density yes or not n is already here you can see n by v and this if i will substitute here you will get this this is also one formula of mean free part okay so let's move ahead now let's see some graph okay so first if i will plot graph that is lambda versus p i will plot all graphs one time only just one minute
this is first graph. Now see, I will show you first formula. You see here, lambda is inverse proportional to P here. Can you see? Lambda is inverse proportional to P. So here, if I will plot the graph that is lambda versus P, how I will get rectangular hyperbola like this. Next, if I will plot graph lambda versus T, if I am plotting here lambda versus T graph, it is direct proportional. So how we will get the graph will come like this. And next one, if I will plot lambda versus rho graph, again it is inversely proportional. You can see from this formula. Can you see? So again you will get rectangular hyperbola, something like this. And if I will plot lambda versus m graph, so lambda versus m graph, you will get again straight line okay so from this what we can conclude lambda is inverse proportional to rho yes here it is lambda is direct proportional to t here again lambda is inverse proportional to 1 by rho this is p okay no? not rho yes here you write p so here it is p and this is rho and here again this lambda is direct proportional to m so whenever they are asking problems on this, you can use direct this graphs. This is graph number one. This is graph number two. Graph number three and graph number four from the formula. Right? Okay. So let's move ahead. Next one. One problem we will solve on this problem you see the collision frequency of nitrogen molecule in a cylinder the collision frequency of nitrogen molecule in a cylinder containing at two atmospheric pressure Containing at two atmospheric pressure and temperature seventeen degrees Celsius. So, what you have to find collision frequency in bracket they have given take radius of nitrogen molecule. That is radius of nitrogen molecule as one Armstrong. One Armstrong means one in ten to the power minus ten meter. Okay. 
So let's solve. So let's solve this problem. So first I want to find mean free path. So lambda is equal to one by so shall we write first given things that will be better, yes or not? So first we will write given things. So first what is given? So he is asking frequency f is equal to question mark. Pressure is given. Pressure is equal to how much? P is equal to 2 atmospheric pressure. So this is equal to 2 into 1.013 into 10 to the power 5 that is equal to 2.0 Two six into ten to the power five newton per meter square. This is what pressure we got. That that is they have given. After this, what they have given next? Temperature T is given. T is equal to seventeen degrees Celsius. If we will convert into Kelvin, how much we are getting? Seventeen plus two seventy three. That is equal to two ninety Kelvin. Yes. Next is radius is given, R is equal to 1 and strong. So diameter D is equal to 2R, that is equal to 2 and strong. And which is equal to 2 into 10 to the power of minus 10 meter, because 1 and strong is equal to 10 power minus 10 meter. Now let's find out lambda. So lambda formula is what we have. KBP divided by root 2 pi D square into P. Yes or not? Root 2 pi d square into p. So, do we have everything? Yes. Because Boltzmann constant value is how much? Kb is equal to 1.38 into 10 to the power of minus 23. This is Boltzmann constant value. So, let's substitute now. So lambda is equal to 1.38 into 10 to the power of minus 23 into 290 divided by this root 2 into 3.14 into this d value is how much? This one. So 2. Point, no, no. Where is d? Here it is. Just 2 and strong. Right? 2 into 10 to the power of minus 10 whole square into d square finished. Now pressure, here it is. So this is 2.026 into 10 to the power 5. If you will solve this, you will get lambda value. Do it yourself. 1.1 into 10 to the power of minus 7. Yes. meter right this is your mean free path now we got mean free path now what we have to find frequency we have to find but for that you need prms right because frequency formula we have now prms by lambda is equal to frequency but we don't know prms so first we will find out prms PRMS value is what? You know formula. What is that? 3 kbt by m. 3 kbt by m. So this is equal to 3 into 1.38 into 10 to the power of minus 23 into T. Temperature is 290 divided by divided by m yeah, mass mass is how much this is how much mass 28 into 1.66 into 10 to the power minus 27 
बिकॉज इट इज ऑफ नाइट्रोजन है ना इट इज फॉर नाइट्रोजन एंड दिस होल थिंग इज अंडर रूट सो इफ यू विल फाइंड आउट दिस यू विल गेट वी आर एम एस फाइव पॉइंट वन इंटू टेन टू द पावर ऑफ टू मीटर पर सेकेंड नाउ लेट्स फाइंड आउट फ्रीक्वेंसी सो दिस इज फिनिश्ड अबाउट वी आर एम एस एंड नाउ फ्रीक्वेंसी सो यफ इज इक्वल टू V R M S divided by lambda. V R M S already we have calculated. One point one in ten to the power minus seven. So this one is five point. V R M S is five point one into ten to the power two. Five point one into ten to the power two. Divided by lambda is one point one into ten to the power minus seven. So this is equal to four point six into ten to the power nine hertz. This is what your frequency is. Okay. This nitrogen you can see nitrogen. Why I have written this m is equal to this much because if you will see the table. Yes, in that nitrogen is having how much? Twenty eight, right? Twenty eight into this mass of proton. So we will get this mass, right? So this is what the problem is, right? So note down. next one very small topic that is brownian motion here only i will tell you what is the brownian motion So let's see what is this Brownian motion. First point. First point in the Brownian motion. It provides. it provides direct evidence for the existence of molecules and their motion existence of molecules and their motion the zigzag zigzag motion of gas molecules is brownian mo motion zigzag motion of gas molecules is brownian motion because it occurs due to random collisions of molecules
next point in this but this motion cannot be seen however the zigzag motion of pollen grains that is nearly equal to how much 10 power minus 15 meter very small can be seen under a microscope can be seen under microscope can be seen under microscope so what is this brownian motion in general language this is just a zigzag motion of gas molecules and this is occurring due to random collisions of molecules and we cannot see this motion actually but in a microscope the motion of pollen grains can be seen it is nearly 1 femtometer that is 10 power minus 15 meter very very small okay so note down these all points let's stop here for today bye